Cause you got desires I know, I know Cause you got desires Cut some layers into it and I made it blend with my hair all without using heat. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Sarah Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Half of y'all ain't subscribed, then I really don't appreciate that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your push notifications so you never will miss an upload from me. Today's video, I know this looks like my hair, babe, but it's not my hair. <laughs> this ain't even my hair. This is a quick weave that I did with some bundles from Amazon. It came out so cute, so nice. The hair is really nice and soft. Um, I cut some layers into it and I made it blend with my hair all without using heat. I didn't use an inch of heat today, okay? So if you are excited to see how I achieve this style and you want to learn at home with me, then keep on watching. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, you guys, so first things first, I am about to blow dry this wet ass hair. I will be using a new tool today. This is what it looks like. It's called the Revlon One Step Dry and Volume like hairbrush. This is what it looks like. It was $32 from Target. Um, if you see a $68 price tag on the shelf, make sure you do a um price check at the register because that's what I did today and in terms of products I will be using the protecting and silk blowout um quick drying thermal spray from OGX and this is the first time I'll be using this too so we're just trying all new things I am going to be blow drying my hair on cool you see me spray this bottle this isn't a product this is just water because I think um you get the best results for a blowout when your hair is like really damp so I'm about to speed through this process and like y'all listen to some music or something. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. You got desires. And I'm not alive. You hand me down on my knees every time I had to talk beside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists. Okay, you guys, so now that my hair is blown out, I am going to section out my leave out and I am going to braid her down. So I want minimal leave out, kind of like a deep middle part. So I'm going to give myself a little extra to cover, you know, like the back or whatever. Child, I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, so let us pray that this is enough leave out <laughs> for my middle part. And then I'm going to leave some hair out in the front, like my edges. Y'all cannot even see that I'm talking to you right now because my hair is in my face. And take an account to like how thin your hairline is. So my my hairline y'all like thin. So I'm gonna take a little bit extra just to like make up for that. Okay, I have never like braided underhandedly, but I guess I just did for the first time ever in um, I accidentally was picking up hair, so now my parts aren't no longer perfect, but it's okay. I'm about to braid down these two parts as well. I'm about to now do the rest of my braid down, and I'm just going to braid the hair straight down because I want this to be flat as possible.
Self control is never been a thing. Don't think it'll help. There's a ring with a lot. Where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean. I look so crazy, but okay, now I'm gonna put on two black caps and I'm basically just going to tuck these braids in the back. I got these black caps from Amazon. It came in a pack of like 20. So anything that I got from Amazon, I will link in the description box below. So you guys can have the same, um, the same links. So before I put on the other cap, I'm going to get this like brown lip liner so I can trace and be able to see where I should and shouldn't put glue at. Uh, I've seen people use different things like concealer or whatever. Just use, and my part kind of messed up right here, so <laughs> it's not going to be straight. But just use whatever you got so you are able to see, child, because... You don't want to get any glue on the hair that you are going to be leaving out. So now that I got that, I'm going to put another cap over it because I want to make sure my hair is well protected. Even though I'm using a protective shield, you can never have too much protection on your real hair. So I'm going to put this second one over it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this cap. And the reason why I did, um, the reason why I outlined the first cap was because when you have two caps on at once, it's kind of hard to see your hair through it. So I did it like this so I could actually see the outline because I can no longer see my scalp. So boom. Next, I am going to go in with the Robert's Diamond Bond Protective Shield. I know y'all have seen this a thousand times before, but it's my first time using it. And I don't want to be messy with this, so I'm going to use this little brush. And that's how I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to put it all over the cap. The way I've seen people do it is literally just pour it and then brush it. So... That's what I'm going to do. Now, this is the part that I'm a little nervous about just because I'm using something that I've never used before. See, uh-uh. That just scared me because I feel like it got... What happens if it get on your leave out, y'all? I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you going thinking what's the beat though? How the fuck you see so many beaches? Tickets to them places don't go cheap. I see it back in the church, remember we took it at first. Get it, got you a whip, we got back on the shit. I had to tell you where to get it. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last. I feel like you take me for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. I should've put you somewhere where no one can find you. With nothing around you Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas You know a different environment But you got desire I know, I know But you got desire I know, I know I know But you got desire Ooh, shawty, you try so I just quickly realized that when it comes to getting the back of your hair, it's easier to put the protective shield on the brush and then apply it. So I'm going to do that for the perimeter of my hair because like the perimeter of the outline because I want to make sure that that's well secured and stuff. So I don't know if that's a little tip y'all could use. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like um, winging it. Because <laughs> it's my first time ever doing a quick weave. 
All right, now for actually a protection, I'm gonna go in with this even spray because it's basically like a better version of got to be like free spray. But y'all can use that as well if you have it. But I'm just gonna spray this all over and then I'm going to blow dry it to make sure everything is dry. You wanna make sure that this part of the process is completely dry before you go in with your glue and stuff. this continue to dry out on its own because I have to go wash my bundles so I went and got some bundles off of Amazon um I know a lot of people use synthetic hair for their quick weaves I wanted to stay away from that simply because I kind of want to stop for a while so I wanted to get some bundles that was probably going to be decent hair, but I didn't want to spend too much money on like good quality bundles because I am putting glue on this. And I do, um, if the hair is good, I will be um, reusing these bundles for like a ponytail or another quick weave in the future. So I will link this hair in the description box below as well. I got three bundles of 22, 20, and 18. This is the 22 inch. And so far, the hair is really, really nice and soft. It's Brazilian Body Wave. Um, This is not sponsored in no way, shape, or form. I am specifically washing my bundles today because I want to blow dry them. I want my hair to look blown out. I'm not really going for the straight silk press look. I want the bundles to be blown out because my natural hair is blown out. And I don't want to put too much heat on my hair. So I don't plan on putting too much heat on the bundles because I really want them to blend. So yeah, this is the before and I will show you guys the after like once I blow dry them out. I really can't believe I've been talking to you guys this whole time with a braid in the middle of my face, but these are the three bundles, co-washed and blow-dry, and you see how it's really fluffy, and it's just nice and voluminous. This is what I'm going for, um, and I have them organized in length, so let me keep them that way. I will just be measuring the wefts out, cutting them where need be, applying this 30-second glue. I got this from a... Uh, a beauty supply but I'm sure it's on Amazon and then I also got this pump it up spritz spray because I've seen some people glue the track and then spray it with spritz so they can hold it even better but I'm scared to do that part because I don't want my hair to be crunchy so I probably just went and bought this from my local beauty supply for no reason but I am going to speed through this process because it is the same exact thing over and over again you got desires I know I know you got desires, I know, I know. You got desires. You got that fire, and I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees, every time I had to talk inside. I'm in that 80 and one of the twists, it's a surprise. I try to pay all your loans, so I'll pick up you a job. I had to stand too close to the city, you make it too we're living this life. I still walk your way through this before I'll cop you all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you pay my number two. You barely made the second change. Put you somewhere where no one can find you. Passion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know. Self-control is never been a thing Don't think it enough, there's a ring with a dog Where I'm from, they start to sow the things You come from a city where there's things with the dog How the fuck you keep so many seeds? How you going if we get pushed to be How the fuck you see so many beats? Tickets to them places don't go cheap I see it back in the church, remember we took it at first Back on the shit, I had to tell you to get it. I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last. I feel like you're taking for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Passion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desire. 
I know. I know. Okay, y'all. So I noticed that these bundles are pretty good in terms of density because I have a lot of my last bundle left over. This is giving like half of the bundle, to be honest. I'm also realizing that this hair is really brown and my hair is darker. I wish I would have like peeped that before because I got some black dye and I could have did a little quick um I could have did a quick water dye and dyed the hair black. But then it would have been jet black. And my hair not jet black. So either way I would have been messed up. <laughs> Check this final braid out. I'm gonna define my part of course and then I'm gonna go back in with that rounded blow dryer that y'all that you guys saw me use in the first place because now that my hair has been braided up like this it's like real bushy and I need to like calm it down good for the most part the one thing i'm annoyed about is the fact that i have glue or or cap protectant in my hair right here and i need to figure out how to get them out because it's bothering me i'm gonna try to put water on it oh but it's coming right out i know that's right and never ever wrong because what Mm. Alright, so let me bring the camera down a little bit. Y'all probably like, okay, just here, how are you gonna get your hair to blend with the extensions? I am going to because I don't want to put no heat on my hair. I am going to do a braid, like them little boxer braids. And then when I take them out, I'm gonna cut layers into the hair. So you can't tell where my natural hair ends. And we're gonna see if that works. are going to give me the waves that I want to achieve without putting any heat on my hair. Um, so I am going to wear these braids for a couple of hours. It's currently like 1.30 p.m. So we're going to see how it looks and what it gives when I come back um, in a couple of hours. Okay, you guys, so I'm back to take them out. Can somebody explain to me why fall just hit us like a ton of bricks? It's cold. It's cold in my house. And I have the heat pumping already. Like, what's going on for real? I feel like we didn't get much of a transition leaving summer coming into fall because it's just brick already for no reason. But anyways, if I take these out and they don't have much of a wave to them it's probably my fault because I didn't put any type of product in the hair so they were like hold better and it's only been a good possibly two hours but it's cute right it got a little something something it's cute <laughs> I might have spoke too soon that's crazy and I really didn't put no heat on my hair. I know that's right and never ever wrong. Like what? I'm excited. I'm about to rock this for forever now because I always assumed oh in order to blend your hair really well you gotta put heat on it. And I've, of course, I know it depends on the texture of your hair. I know. Because if you have kinkier curls, then this may not be the best option for you. But I would say try it, especially if you were to get, like, thicker 
coarser bundles like kinky straight instead of Brazilian body wave. Or, you know, a curly. You can even do this with curly hair to like match your natural curl pattern. This is cute. This is it's giving fall. Okay, so I'm about to like roughly <laughs> cut some layers into the hair. Um, I know exactly where my hair ends and ends right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the chopping down here a little bit. Now I don't wanna cut too many because I don't want to get rid of a lot of the of the length. So, and then I grab up here. This one is really neat. Y'all see the blend? Can you see the blend? Let me cut a little bit more right here. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know this is gonna come out cute, but I ain't think it was gonna come out this cute. This is cute. This is cute. Like, hello. Good morning. <laughs> I'm in here wine drunk, y'all. Don't mind me. <sighs> it's five o'clock on the dot. I just got all for work. Mm -mm. So I'm celebrating with someone. <laughs> but I have hair all over the place. But it's okay because we're cute. And it's giving layers. I'm going to cut a little more right here. I know I cut my layers all wrong. But that's how I do it. Like, I don't know. I love that the hair is kind of poofy. Like, it looks natural. If I was to go outside right now, can't nobody tell me that this isn't my hair. Now, do I like big, thick hair? Yes, I do. So, I'm probably going to try to find a way to squeeze some more bundles into my head. Because I just like thick hair. And this ain't thick enough for me. It looks natural. It looks like it's mine. But it's not thick enough for me, y'all. So... Anyways, now I'm about to do my edges. I ain't gonna do nothing too crazy because I don't want them to look all stuck down because my hair is not giving, it's not giving that. Like it's giving fluffy, it's giving wild and crazy but tamed. Wild and crazy yet tamed. So I'm just gonna do a little one too. Just to look a little bit more presentable, because y'all know I got to take pictures for the thumbnail, but. Like, just a little something. Yeah, there's something right there and there. Like. Ghost in the brother. Ghost in the brother. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Y'all, I've been on a heavy Drake tip today. I've been listening to all Drake albums. And I know y'all probably saw me grooving in this video part. Like, what is she doing? But I'm, like, really not just now starting to realize. Because I've always liked Drake. But, like, every album hits. There are no skips at all. And you may not be able to say that about your fave. So, like, when people talk about Drake... Okay, I can't take Drake seriously no more. But, like, I know his music hit. But him as a person, I can't take him seriously. That's exactly how I feel about Drake. Love you, Drake, if you ever see this. But, like, yeah, he funny. Like, he would definitely be a homeboy. Like, I, I don't understand how people be, like, attracted to him. Because, yes, he's physically, like, he's cute in the face. But he's a goofball. I don't know. Like... And you know how some people can give you the ick after something? Girl, the, um, what video, what music video was that with him and Chris Brown? Uh, No Guidance? Is that the name of the song? Girl, that video gave me the ick. But anyways, quick one, two on the edges, nothing crazy. This hair is so cute. You cannot see where my 
hair begins and the extensions end. You can't see where my hair ends and the extensions begin. I think that's what I wanted to say just now. But I like it. And this hair overall, it did not shed when I was installing it. And it did not shed when I was co-washing it. This is some nice hair. So make sure you check the link in the description box because this ain't even sponsored. But I'm really liking this hair. And I'm definitely about to add those extra bundles in like right now. Because I want a thicker look. Um, so yeah, in terms of keeping up with the hair, I'm going to put two braids in my hair every night. And I feel like I did a really good job my first time because you can't see none of the wafts. Even when I go back like this, you can't really see nothing. So I think I did a really, really good job. And I didn't even leave a lot of hair out. This was so easy to do. If I was to ever take clients, quick weeds will be the first thing I put on my uh, booking list. But I was scared to take clients. Anyways, y'all, I'm rapping to y'all because I'm a little wide jump right now. I really hope y'all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. It means a lot to me. Okay? And maybe in the future, I'll do a quick weave with, like, a peekaboo color in the back. I think that'd be so cute. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps all my baddies that don't want to put heat on their hair and want a quick, cute style for the fall. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe because half of y'all aren't. And I don't appreciate that. <laughs> but I'll see y'all in the next video. My mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah.